Hello, my name is Kevin Pires. I am a senior applications engineer with Expo, and today I'll be going over IOM SFP safe mode. When we dispatch technicians to test, turn up, and troubleshoot, one thing we want to avoid is introducing problems when we're trying to solve them. And this is something we've started to encounter with damaged SFPs from elevated light levels from OTDRs and VFLs. So from a network view, when we're turning up and troubleshooting, this is what a network might look like, right? You have a transceiver on one end and you have a transceiver on the other end and length of fiber in between. Is there a transceiver plugged in? Is there not one plugged in? Does it go to a radio? You know, these are all part of the network view. But the technician doesn't necessarily see that. They're standing in front of a cabinet. So their view is much more limited. They do not know what they're testing on the other end. If you also look at the varying levels of expertise, we're seeing a lot more transceivers, a lot more fibers being placed, which means we have a lot more technicians. So varying levels of expertise. We're seeing a lot more high-power VFLs, test tens of kilometers. These VFLs can damage SFPs or transceivers. Somebody with a little bit more expertise might know they need to attenuate the signal a little bit before they plug it in on the shorter lengths. But new users may not have that level of expertise. We're seeing that also with OTDRs when we're trying to do fault isolation. You really need to set up your OTDR properly. And a lot of new users will use auto mode and auto mode will burst high energy or high power to evaluate the link. And so it can damage transceivers as well. Kind of a real case scenario here. Without safe mode, an OTDR will send out a pulse of light in auto mode at a very high level of energy. It can damage a transceiver if the power is sufficient enough, particularly in a DWDM system. And so that's what we're faced with today, right? So how do we prevent these problems? Well, we introduced IOLM safe mode. So IOLM safe mode is great for both experts and new users and can guarantee the integrity and the reliability of not damaging that, that SFP. Now, if we look back at that real case scenario for DWDM testing, using safe mode, we slowly increase the pulse width. And then we test further and further. And once we have enough pulse width to get to the end, we stop and then we capture that information. And so we use IOLM safe mode, which is our patented uh, method of ensuring uh, safe testing against uh, transceivers or SFPs. So how do we ensure this? How do we ensure that the technician uses the appropriate configuration? We can create that configuration and then send it out to the field. And so we can disseminate that information. They would load the configuration as part of their method and procedures and then run the test. And so basically in a nutshell, IOLM with SFP safe mode offers safe, fast, and accurate approach to turn up and troubleshooting. It's a great way for organizations to take control of the risk, uh, no matter the level of the technician's skill set. And IOLM SFP safe mode is available across Expo's DWDM OTDR portfolio and other OTDR models as well. And that's in a nutshell, Expo's IOLM SFP safe mode. Thank you very much.